Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, your boy Kalash here with another video about the OnePlus 5T. Today we're going to look at some detailed steps on how to get the phone back to stock and relock your bootloader. So usual stuff, that's the three files we need, minimal ADP and fast boot, the stock recovery and the stock ROM. As always, the links are mentioned in the description, you can go ahead and download those files. So the first thing of course that we need to do is to prepare the phone so that it can be restored back to the stock ROM and the stock recovery. Now while I download these files, let me inform you that this will erase everything on your phone including the internal memory. So whatever you want to back up, please go ahead and back it up. You will need a Windows computer for this particular guide. You will need to have at least 50% battery on your OnePlus 5T. Alright, so here we go. So that's the first file that we downloaded. I'm downloading the second file and then we will download the third file. Uh, it's nothing too much complex here, not not really that that should in, include some uh, advanced steps or something like that. It's just a couple of files that you need to download and uh, I believe you are on a custom ROM. That means you do have TWRP already in, so then it should not be a problem for you. Alright, as you've seen in my previous guides, the first thing that we need to do is install minimal ADP and fast boot. That is one of the very important files that we need. So just keep hitting next, hit I agree and select the location of your choice. I'm going to install it somewhere else and just hit next. It's pretty self-explanatory and once it is installed, uncheck that box and select finish. Now after that, once that is done. Uh, the remaining two files, the ROM file and the stock recovery. Just connect your phone to the computer in mass storage mode or media transfer mode, whatever you want to call it. And then copy these two files and paste it to your phone's internal memory. There we go. All right. So great. Now from here on, we're going to go into TWRP. So you're not gonna be able to get any calls and stuff like that for the people who are doing it first time so before we proceed we'll go to settings scroll all the way to the bottom we will go to about again as you can see on the screen this phone right now is running freedom os which is a custom rom so we will scroll to the bottom tap on build number seven times go back go to developer options and enable advanced reboot that's what we need now next up press and hold the power button click on reboot and then select recovery and then touch to reboot again all right so while it boots into the recovery let me tell you this is going to go into twrp we're going to wipe everything except internal storage and then we're going to install the stock rom using twrp all right as you can see advanced wipe wipe everything except for your internal storage and otg and then swipe all right uh, next up let's go to install locate your stock rom file there it is just go ahead and swipe to install the rom i will skip through that part all right the rom is now installed if you want to stay with twrp at this point you can reboot and it will stay with twrp now wipe cache and dalvik to be safe now click on install click on install image at the bottom scroll down and you will see the stock recovery image here select that select recovery and then swipe to install there we go now go to the main screen by pressing the home button. Okay, next up, select reboot and select bootloader. Now at this point in time, you will have to connect the phone to the computer once it is in the bootloader mode. Now, 
Okay, great. So as you can see, the phone is connected to the computer and uh, the bootloader as of now is unlocked. We've installed the stock recovery and the stock ROM. So all we need to do is lock the bootloader. So go to your computer, open minimal ADB and fastboot and type fastboot devices, fastboot space devices. So it is connected, just verify that. Then type in fastboot space OEM space lock and hit enter. Now the moment you hit enter, this is the screen that you will see. It will ask if you want to lock the bootloader. Use the volume down key to highlight yes and press the power button. That's it guys, it is that simple. I understand you lose all the data but once the first boot is done, the first boot will take 2-5 to five minutes. I've skipped here to save time and if you go to about, you will see that it is running the latest 4.7.2 Oxygen OS. Everything is great and you're back to stock. If you like the video guys, like, share and subscribe. Do check the description for the giveaway contest. Take care.